supplements can be important, uh, and I, I think for two reasons. The first is that uh, supplements like vitamins and minerals can be used to obtain requirements for patients. So if they don't eat enough, uh, you can give them supplements in order to meet their recommendations, uh, meet their requirements. One thing about that is that uh, we don't always know what the requirements are. We know them for healthy persons, but not for patients. And that is one of our research agendas. We want to establish better recommendations for patients so that we know how much supplements we should give them. Another thing is that we use supplements and especially vitamins for more pharmacological reasons. For example, uh, niacin, which is a B vitamin, uh, has been described in the literature uh, to work uh, to lower uh, phosphate levels in the serum of patients with kidney diseases. And if they have high phosphate levels, it increases their risk for cardiovascular disease. So we are going to try to use niacin to lower those levels so that they don't need as much medication as they need uh, now. So yes, vitamins and minerals as supplements do have a role in uh, Medical nutrition, yes.